Hello children. Right, we're going to write down the next part of the story. So if you remember, Chris has had a really good night's sleep. <clears throat> and then they have to wait all day and it's a really long day. And then they go round to their neighbour's house, don't they? So I've given you the first part. I've given you a sentence starter. It says the following evening. That's just another way of saying the next evening. But we've already used the word next because we used it yesterday when we said the next night. And sometimes when you're doing your writing, it's a really good idea to try and use different words and not too much repetition. So pause the video now and you write this sentence starter the following evening. OK. Right, now let's think. So the following evening, Chris went next door. Now, can we do better than went? How is Chris feeling? Pause the video now and have a think. Either just say the words out loud or jot them down. OK, what did you get? I think he's happy. He's really excited. Um, he, yeah, he just can't wait to get there, can he? So would he just walk? Or do you think he might move in a different way if he's excited? How, how do you move around if you're excited? OK, so maybe he raced next door, or he sprinted next door, or he skipped next door. That's what you do when you're happy, don't you? Skipped. I think I might do skipped. OK. Um, right, so I'm going to write the following evening, Chris skipped next door. S it's, what's, which k do you think it is? It's a K. Now watch out when you do your K because we want it to be this size, like this. So it's the same size as that. I'm just going to show you what happens sometimes. I'm just going to show you. Sometimes this happens when you do a K, a K in the middle of a word. Sometimes a K looks like that. But we don't need a capital letter in the middle of the word, do we, like that? OK, so we actually, if I zoom in a bit, there we go. Want it to be like that. So the slide in, slide out is all at scared monkey height like that, OK? The following evening... Oh, have I missed a word out? I've just started to write skipped, haven't I? What do we do when we miss a word out? We can do a little upside down V and we can write it up here. OK, there we are. The following evening, Chris skipped. Next door. Next door. That was a bit of a tricky all sound, that one is. There we go. Full stop. That's the end of my sentence. Right, you decide how you want Chris to go next door. So you might say Chris race next door, Chris skip next door, Chris jumped next door. It's up to you. Pause the video now and write your sentence. OK, can you remember what the house was like when he got there? <clears throat> Let me show you a picture. There we go. Lots of people. It was really busy, wasn't it? They were all huddled together around the telly. So how could we say that? I think I might say, the house was full of people. The house was full of people. You might say the house was bursting. The house... Ow, shout it out, was full of people. Now, there are two things we could do now. I want one more sentence. So we could either talk about how they're all huddled together or we could talk about the noise that they're making. So let's, let's, do, the, let's do the huddle together bit first. So I might put, if they are all huddled together, let's look again at the picture. <clears throat> OK, they're all squashed in, aren't they? Like a squash and a squeeze. I might write, squish, squash. They were all huddled together around the television. Do you remember how we did that last time? Squish. Squash. Have you had, ever had to squish and squash on the sofa because you've got lots of people over. Squish squash. They were all huddled together around the television. 
they were all huddled. That's a good word, isn't it? Just means all squashed together. Together. Just going to zoom out slightly. There we go. <clears throat> Around the television. There's a few big words here, so I will put these on the word bank, like television and people. They were all huddled together around the television. And that's the end of my sentence. What do I need? A full stop. Okay. So if you want to, you can do your next sentence about how they were all squashed together. Or you could do one about the noise that they were making. So if they're excited, are they going to be completely quiet or are they going to be making a noise? They might be talking, mightn't they? But maybe not too loud because I don't want to miss anything on the telly. So maybe they might go, Ch chitter, chatter. They were very excited. Should we write that? Chitter, chatter. They were all very excited and I'm going to use an exclamation mark like that to sh show their excitement. The following evening Chris skipped next door. The house was full of people. Squish squash they were all huddled together around the television. Chitter chatter they were all very excited. So you can write all of that or you could just write about them being squished or just write about them being excited. That's up to you. Okay good luck.